Hello friends and fellow adventurers. We're going to take a look at a new title here, Behind the Horizon. Uh, the developer Yadavin, I, I believe that's how you would say it, I'm sorry if I'm messing up your name, uh, asked me to take a look at it. And I was very intrigued by what I saw. So let's get started on a new game here. Um, we're going to play, we'll play as a lady, and uh, we'll play as this lady. And uh, we'll do the intro. Name, uh, Yan. Uh, I think we'll just, we'll, we'll call ourselves Hodge. We'll see. I don't know that it'll matter. Oh, there we go. And start. So we get a, a little cutscene. I played a little bit of the game, uh, probably about half an hour's worth or so, just to get a feel for it. Uh, Shao Carla uh, Gashata grins. Okay, they're going shopping. Gotcha. And uh, look, John, down there is a shopping mall. So they are the, the German tourists. Let's take a look then. Uh, hot dogs? That you want to eat a hot dog in the middle of Ireland? So they are in Ireland. I can eat hot dogs anywhere. Please, one hot dog. Wait, darling, I'll get some popcorn. And the, uh, I, I'll try and let it play out on its own pace as much as possible. I was, I was clicking through and it gets very Howard Hawks. It, the text overlaps a lot. It's very uh, over talking. All right, so they're very excited to go see the shopping center. As you would be. I guess that's uh, that's what the excitement in Ireland is. I don't think so. Neko's Library. And then the cyber uh, something over there. Now here we are in the middle of Ireland and going to a shopping center. Exactly. So they're realizing the in inauthenticity of their, their traveling. A little crazy, huh? Yeah, but crazy is good. That's why you go on vacation. I can't even think about it. That we have to go back to work on Monday? Oh wow, your your uh, adventure while well, you're in Europe, so it's not too bad of a trip. Don't think about it. I'm going to go look at all the books over there. Hey, Harry, nice to meet you. Hi, Poppy. What are you doing? I'm ah, just hanging around. Cool. I'm looking for work. People are doing their thing. What do you mean? Looking for tourists. You've seen some? Thought I heard some Germans over the street. Excellent. Germans always have money. What are you What are you about to do? You'll see, Poppy. All right, so. Hello, madam. I'm offering a sightseeing tour. Interested? Uh, excuse me? A tour to visit the ancient temples? He's exasperated. You offer a sightseeing tour? Yes, I know. The country around here and can show you some interesting places. Uh, could, uh, Carla comes to mall? Okay, I'm coming. What is it? This man has offered to do a sightseeing tour with us. Just like that? I suspect it won't be for nothing. I'll make you a good price. Let's say 100 euros for the rest of the day. What's your game? <laughs> oh, what's your name? Sorry. I'm Harry. This is my friend Carla, and I'm Hodge. And honestly, we don't, we don't trust uh, strange men trying to pick us up to take us to the temples. Okay, then, let's go. We'll visit some something something. What do you think, Carla? Sure, that sounds exciting. Let's do it. It's even better than shopping. Definitely, uh... Okay, Harry, let's go. This There's nothing dodgy about this. <laughs> this takes place in a different time, when we would just do that as excited tourists. Hey, Poppy, see you later. Don't come back too late. We might get a storm tonight. No, that doesn't sound good. Storms are not good. So this is principally put together by one developer uh, who brought together a lot of uh, different elements and uh, came up with this large story. Here we are last up, and what shall we find here? There's an ancient Stonehenge in this forest. It's a long way? Stonehenge? No, perhaps half hour to walk. Yeah, it's an old stone circle. I've always wanted to see something like that. Looks like it's going to rain soon. It's getting dark already. But who knows if we'll ever get another opportunity. That's right. Will we be back? We'll be back on the plane tomorrow. All right. You ready to go? Yes, yes. I mean, we came all this way, so I'm assuming we would go and check it out. How did we get here? Last stop. I guess we took the bus. Look, Hodge, the forest is beautiful even in the dim light, and the mushrooms and herbs grow everywhere. It feels so alive here. Almost as if we were in another time. Long lost. Real mystical. If I tell them at the office, they'll think I'm crazy. Honenvir Weitermachen? Like it, uh, too, fa too quick. Our leader is getting impatient. Let's move on. <laughs> I couldn't quite catch all that. 
All right, and away we go. So we're very quickly we're going to be moving into the uh, the main into the game itself. This is the ancient Stonehenge. There are a lot of legends about it. You have an example. A lot of people talk about fairies dancing in the moonlight, but no chance today. No moon, only rain. Did you hear that? The storm is coming sooner than we thought. Let's take a quick look at the stone circle, then we go back. I'll wait here. I'll wait here. I find these stones fascinating. They radiate somehow. This plant. Are you even listening to me? Sure, this planet this plant fascinates you. It looks really unique. Hey, I'll go back to the car. The storm's coming closer. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, we'll come in a moment. I wonder if I can take a cutting. You better not touch her. Maybe she has poisonous spikes. I've never I never have my equipment with me when I need it. What kind of equipment do you mean? I collect plants. It's been a hobby since I was a kid. I didn't know that. You know, the bag of equipment that she left in the car. Uh-oh, and she's been struck down. Carlo, what is wrong with you? What's that glow? And we've been struck down as well. Cut to black and we shall begin. So as I was saying, the uh, this this is going to be a fairly large game. Uh, we'll see how. I don't know how we'll we'll do. Uh, we'll, I've I, like I haven't got that far into it, but I it purports to be you know fifty to two hundred hours kind of range. Uh, hello, Hodge. Who are you? How do you know my name? I know many things, my friend. You can call me Kian. This means wise man. I like it. Okay, wise man. Now tell me why I'm here and where I am. It's obvious, isn't it? You come through the stone circle. What? Am I lost in a strange dream? That may happen. Finally, all in, all in life is just a dream, isn't it? I don't want to talk about philosophy now, old man. Good. Then I'll leave you alone for a moment. I'm living east. Just follow the trail. When you calm down, visit me there. I think you'll need some help to get along. Okay, so we we'll, we got to remember. I've come to realize uh, when people say things, we need to listen. <laughs> so we'll go east. I'll explore. We'll go do that before we explore around too much. So... Chapter one, a new world. So I think there's five chapters total. Um, again, it, it varies on probably on how much time you spend doing various activities. Uh, over here on the right, I believe is our like stamina, um, and over on the left, I have no idea. Probably health. I'm gonna guess. And we have a little. We got some inventory, you know, the usual things. And uh, we'll bomb on over here and see what's going on. We'll check out what the sign has to say. To the stone circle. Okay, well, that's a good thing. Now, you know, in terms of uh, interacting at the moment, because we don't have any tools or anything, we can't really do much. We can't interact with anything. So I think we'll mostly stick with uh, just trying to find things out initially. Now, is this... I don't remember. Is this one locked? Locked. Uh, staying on the paths, definitely... Uh, it seems pretty quick either way. There is some slower territory. Oh, here's Deuter. Hello, Hodge. Here I, here I am. I hope to have you have some answers for me. Slowly, my daughter, you better tell me first where you're from. You seem to be completely confused. I was at a stone circle in Ireland with my friend. Ah, a stone circle, just like the one here? Yes, and there was a storm. Light lightning and lightning struck the rocks. Sounds like quite a storm. I guess something went wrong because until now the stone circle has been not active for as long as I can remember. Something woke him up and he connected your location and brought you here. A fascinating mystery. Yes, a big nasty mystery, but what can I do now? First, you accept that you are here now. Unfortunately, the road to Woodhome is blocked and we have to wait until the debris will be removed. For the time being, I think you'll have to learn some skills to survive. Except for from me, only Wilfred and an old friend of mine lives here in this valley, but I don't think he can help you with your problem. Great, now I'm stuck with two old men in the wild? Laughs. It won't be that bad and soon the passage will be free and you can go to Woodhome. Many people live there and who knows, maybe someone there can help you. The best thing we can do is make sure you survive here. Woodhome sounds to me like a bit tiny village with a hundred inhabitants. Oh no, I estimate there's about 30 people permanently in the village. 30? Aren't there any towns around here? Towns? No. A vast sea extends our island in our, our small continent and what lies beyond I cannot say. Next to tell me there are just no telephones. I believe not. Okay, I give up. I don't understand anything. Splendid. If you have no idea how to go on... To go on, giving up is the best alternative. Now, do you like to hear more about our way of living? Okay. Okay, it can't hurt. Good. As you can see, we live here very close to nature, and we feed directly from the plants and trees. Most of us grow vegetables or breed farm animals that provide us with eggs, milk, and wool. 
This sounds like a reality show channel 45. It's unbelievable. I'm part of a show? Perhaps it's the best way to send you on an errand. But uh, it's the best way to send you on an errand. Then you can take a look closer on our land. Northwest from the Stone Circle is a small house. You can live there. The last dweller, Hugo, had has gone for quite a long time. I don't think he will come back. Hugo borrowed a pickaxe from me. I think you'll find it somewhere near the house. I'd be pleased to have it back. You mean I should go and fetch your pickaxe? That would be great. I'll tell you more later, and also look for a few things you might need to get started. See you later, then. All right. What a nice morning. All right, so we're going to head back up. He said northwest from the stone circle, so we'll head over there. Now now we're into the game proper, and my first impressions were that uh, I, I really liked the, the style done on the landscape and a lot of the plants in nature. Uh, it has a very, like... I don't, my, my first thought was, it reminded me of a Gustav Klimt painting. Um, just the way these these patches kind of come together, especially when you get into the flowers and stuff. I thought that was quite nicely done. Um, yeah, like those flowers there. It very much, that's what uh, got me thinking. That must be the house the old man has talked about. From the outside, it looks rather rustic. Could be standing in Canada somewhere in the forest. <laughs> As a Canadian. Uh, it's, uh, it's plausible. Yes, it's plausible. Uh, all right, we've come in. We're checking it out. There's a chest in here. There's a pickaxe. Inside there has to be done a, has to be done a lot. I would like to know who lived here. We don't all live in log cabins. Uh, only some of us. In fact, I've only ever known one person who lived in an actual log cabin. This crystal's glowing. Strange. There's someone who has built a garden. The soil is different. A building. It would be nice for a workshop. I should search for this pickaxe. Perhaps it's somewhere in the house. I should... Okay, and that's it. So we're back now. So it's very quick, and we can't get this rat. Or cat, or whatever it is. I think it's a rat. I just want to tickle it and bring, make it a pet. So over here we have an inventory. So we've got a chest of things. I don't know what that... I guess it just makes a different color. Yeah. Here's our pickaxe. I like that we can... Uh, we open the windows, close the windows. That's kind of a cool effect. We can do some cooking here. Potions, snacks, meals. I never got into that. We got a bed we can sleep. Uh, and we can get this thing here. Let's go and check that out. Okay, and then we'll we'll find out what that is all about. Notes from Hugo found inside the farmhouse. 14th day. This is my 14th day here on this strange world. I've decided to write down some of my thoughts. Don't know why, but perhaps... Somebody will read it sometime. Well, your, it says your consciousness has been enhanced as well by reading this. Don't know why, but perhaps someone will read it. I'm living here now with two, uh, two old men in the wilderness. They tried to help me, but I don't know if someone can still help me. Perhaps I'm just getting mad. A lot of things, strange things happen, and I'm always afraid to be pursued, although nobody is near. Kian, the old man that lives... I, I, I might be saying that totally wrong, too. I don't know. if it, Kian, Kian, Kian. I have no idea how that's pronounced. The old man lives in the east told me that I have to accept the situation, but this is so easy to say. Now I'm just going to go out to water my farmland. Still another absurdity. I'm a farmer now. So somebody else has been in the same situation as us, it would seem. There's a portal thing here. We can't do anything with that. We got a room here. We got another note here. Notes from Hugo found in the side building. 23rd day. The weather is miserable. It has been raining now for days and the pond starts to flood over the shore. I have to watch that my enclosure with which I built my chickens doesn't drown. At least one advantage I can see in a farmer's life is that you always have something to do. No time for reading, writing, or entertainment. Even so, I miss many things. But there's nothing I can do now. Kian says later, if I'm looking for someone for some change, I can explore the cave north of my house. I'm not so sure. I don't like dark and foul places and perhaps... I've seen too many horror movies. Valid, valid point. Um, so yeah, we got uh, there's some beautiful patches of flowers here. Like I said, I, I'm assuming some of the stuff we're gonna be uh, things are gonna you know change over time. Sometimes yeah yeah I think I'm gonna be able to do something with the thing and not sure yet. But these beautiful beautiful flower patches. I, the, I really lovely the way this all comes together. We can't get over to those chests over there. We can't pass over the lily pads. We don't have uh, lily pad walker abilities yet. Uh, I'm just traveling north along here. Now, 
Is that a thing? No, that's just not actually sure what that is. Okay, we got this volcanic stuff. We can't do anything with that. Some deer. Now I do know, I, I kind of, I, I wander around the map a little bit. It, this game's huge. Like, it takes quite a while. Uh, there's going to be, you can teleport between the stone points at some point, I believe. Um, and there is some stuff out here. Now oh, this is a friendly, right? Are you friendly? Can't do anything. Um, and there, I guess we're back at the house. So I know we can, we can use, oh, here we go. We can use a pickaxe right here. I didn't even notice it was there. Select the pickaxe. Away we go. And we pick up some stuff. And you can see our, our uh, stamina on the right-hand side depletes rather quickly. I think it depletes whether you actually make contact or not, uh, which I found out by trying to hit things and then finding out I couldn't hit them. Very quickly learned to stop doing that. Okay, so every once in a while you get something good. And I, I, again, I kind of assume that we're supposed to just go around smashing stuff, get it, giving it a try. Okay, there we go. And one more. I have no idea about the respawning and stuff, uh, how that works. All right, so uh, this isn't our house, is it? No, this is someone else's house. No, we need the key. Okay. So we'll just go sell. Oh, right, it's right above our house. There we go. Now, in terms of the overall, I think there is a... I looked at the credits, and there's a variety of um, things brought together, like uh, whether it's it sounds or um, different graphics, things like that. So we have uh, Akut, a uh, regent for spells, Azurite, regent for spells, Limestone, used for many things, S Sandstone, used for many things. So I think we'll uh, we'll dump some stuff in our chest here. Uh, how do we do that? Okay, no, uh, right, we gotta bring this up, then we click on this, and then we move it, don't we? Yes. Can I do it from here? No. Curious. Okay. I don't see a point carrying these things around with me. Um, I don't know what that means. No, but it's green. So I'm not entirely sure how to read that, but I, for now I don't think it matters. So we're supposed to return this pickaxe, so I guess we can go try and do that. I don't see why we would return the pickaxe, but we, we've got things to smash. So, um, yeah, I'm not f totally sure of the direction we're going to be taking yeah, in the game. Um, I know there's like there's a lot of elements that come together. Hello, Hodge. Uh, Ein Siedler. Uh, I've been at this house and I got your pickaxe. Thank you. Here, take it back. I think you'll need it more than me. I only wanted to know if I can trust you. Here's some Lembo breads so you won't starve uh, me until you can grow. So you won't starve until you can grow your own food. Such bread fills the stomach of a full grown man. Only eat them uh, at need and to sleep and regain energy. You want to tell me more about this rural idol of yours? There's still some time left. First, you'll need more tools. My, visit my friend Wilfred. He's a forester. Perhaps he can help you. He often travels clear to clear the woods that would otherwise engulf us. In the afternoon, he comes here, and you can meet him uh, near my house in the evening. Come back when you've spoken to him. All right. Okay, so we've got some food. Nah, I don't know what he's saying. Maybe he's, make, he's calling birds. So we can go meet Wilfred near his house. Good stuff. So hopefully Wilfred's around here. So I don't know if like Wilfred's chilling in the woods or what can we, uh, we can't pick those. No, it's so, yeah, it's a little bit of uh, initially, um, it's a little bit of a guessing game as to what exactly we can do. What are we, what are we supposed to do? What do we want to do? Um, 
other than being quested a few, you know, obvious things, um, getting the resources and materials, we're, we're still definitely learning. Like, you can't pick that up. So it's, yeah, so anyway, some of the graphics, I, I can't quite tell what I can and can't get. But I, I'm coming to realize um, it's pretty obvious when I can get stuff and a lot of things I can't yet. But again, I don't know if that's going to be... Um, <laughs> hello, dear. <laughs> if that's... Uh, um, permanent or if that's a thing that changes. Oh, is this who we're looking for? You Wilfred? Wilfred, hey, it must be Wilfred, the man old, the old man down south sent me. Ah, you, you come from Kian. Well, he doesn't seem that old to me. What does he need? Can you help me? Kian says I need more tools. Yeah, that's the good guy. Always taking care of the new arrivals at our place. I know when the last one got here, Hugo, I think his name was, he was a real hard case. Two left hands and his feet were no better off. Hmm, afraid that could be the same true for me. No, I don't think so. Always be optimistic. I think I can help you with an axe. I've got a spare axe, but first, I want you to get me some copper ore so I can have a new axe made in Woodhome in the winter. Ah, I see you've already got a pickaxe. Yes, then I'll get the copper you need. Do you know where I can find some? There are several deposits nearby. Search best on rocky ground. There are different sized deposits. They are brownish with green veins in them. Sometimes you can find gems when you break them open. Keep them impossible because some of them are worth a lot, but you can use them too to build something. With your copper pickaxe, you don't need to try to split iron or even harder stones. You need better tools for that task. Okay. Okay, so he's like, he's basically saying there's stuff around here. We can go in here, check out the animals. Hello, animals. Can't do anything, but that's nice. What's in here? Nice big stone. Oh, it's a... <laughs> that's where they put... Is this a potion we can, like, consume? No. Lamps. Is that a thing we can... No. Nothing doing. Alright, now that we've uh, invaded their home. So sticking on the trails, I'm guessing is a good bet to start with. Okay, this looks promising. Can I break these ones? Is that the ones? No, I need a better pickaxe. Okay, so we can't bust those ones. Need a better pickaxe. Is that the same deal? Yeah. Okay, so I can't break any of those. But I can break these ones. So yeah, I'm trying to uh, get a sense of um, direction with everything. It's, so it's good, you've got a bit of range with your hitting of things. Oh, there's some more over there. Perfect. So, the, yeah, the, I, the overall story, um, I, I think, is going to come out slowly as we slowly uh, learn skills and we gain resources and all that. Um, so far, I, I'm intrigued. Like, it's it doesn't, you know, um, it's it's always hard when you when you come at something that's. Uh, I think the. Uh, wanting to do something unique, wanting to do something different than the usual farming sim, is wanting to work in that space. Okay, oh, we're getting very tired. So, what is that? That's, yeah, that's sandstone. So he wanted copper, right? <laughs> okay. Um, you know, okay, so how do I eat one of these? Oh. Okay, that's how we do it. Oh wow, that gives me full health. Okay. I know he said be use those with caution, but we're gonna use them somewhat with abandon because well, you know. Okay, oh, uh nope. <laughs> My fidgety fingers just start slamming keys. Oh, looks like there's some more stuff. Okay, I need a better pickaxe. Who's this? Is this Wilfred? Dude. Oh, do I need to be off that? Wilfred, hello, Hodge. Okay. And that's that. What do we got going on here? Oh, hey, more of the magic rocks. Can't do anything with that one. Hmm. All right. 
So we, okay, that is an impasse. We can't do anything there. What are these ones? Yeah, we definitely need, we need a better pickaxe for everything, don't we? Um, no. Okay, so I guess we'll, we'll stick with the ones that were, uh, maybe we can cross over and get the ones that were over here. We can't get those ones. Now, uh, oh yeah, I couldn't get through there, okay. It seemed like I would be able to, but I cannot. I wonder if I can kind of go around. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. I don't know how late it's getting. Uh, my HUD is kind of covering the game's HUD a little bit. Uh, zero. So, the sun. Oh, the sun is setting. Okay, I should probably go home then, shouldn't I? Oh yeah, I can't get over there. Okay. And is this, this one? Oh, hey. No, that was, that was the stuff, wasn't it? Okay, that's this thing, wasn't it? No, okay. <laughs> I don't know what I just hit then. Was it this? I don't know. All right. But I think we got a little chunk, which is good. Oh, there's more down here. So yeah, the stuff I'm hitting there gives you cool stuff, but it's not giving me it's not giving me the good stuff that I need. All right, well, let's uh let's bust on home here. I don't think there's a run. I'm not 100% sure, but I have not run into that yet. But you move pretty quick when you're on the trails, it seems like. Yeah, so we've passed now into Twilight. Okay. So now, yeah, I think I'm getting a feel for the, at least the direction and the layout and all that. Like I said, I, I even after, you know, usually pretty quickly with a game, you get a feel for whether you're intrigued. And this game has me intrigued. It has me really interested in where it's going. I don't know if I have the stamina for the long, the whole take. I guess it depends on how quickly one or chooses to go with it, or you know, how one um, how one goes at it. If you take a long time, or you're rather quick with it, I have no idea. You know what is that? That is copper. Okay. But I think uh, I, I'd like to play some more of it. So we'll see where this heads. Uh, we're gonna get some sleep. Next time we'll go and give our copper. And yeah, um, I'm gonna put a link below for those of you who are interested in learning a bit more. It's available on Steam. I think it might've been available previously on Itch. I'm not sure if it still is, um, but it's definitely, it's gonna be on Steam and uh, yeah, check it out. All right, we will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.